Captain. To reach the Lodge, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long.
Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. I would try the viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. Wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. This is New Atlantis Transit, or The Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. will be waiting for you at the lodge. One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Colonies City, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Captain, everyone. 
one will be in the library this way, Captain. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death and often with an object multiple people wanted. Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos, so technically you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share, so he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Commencing Item Exchange Protocols Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Sarah Morgan, Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened... wasn't in doubt, but honestly, Country, do you expect us to believe in fairy tales? If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here.
That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godric? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability, hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. It's been quieter around here since my little That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Oh right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Sure, I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now, but we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses, and he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. 
Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're gonna be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. I can't be certain that they will, but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Great, let's see what you have. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Walter, I hope I'm not overstepping here, but you sure spend a lot of time on constellation business. Doesn't Issa miss you? Ask you if you've got questions. Question? Speak up if you have I'll ideas. Indulge. We're all here. Apparently, I become rather cranky when I'm not able to participate in constant. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, 
Those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now, I call the Lodge home, as much as anywhere else. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but... I feel like if I did, now would be a good you time for one. You mind putting your signature on something? Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked you. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. And you love every minute of this. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. That sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. Well, Cartridge, don't put any priceless antiquities lately. Uh, We've always considered ourselves explorers. Kind of Stay thing. safe, okay? So much to do around here, you know? I am at your service, Captain. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, 
You will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources, although rarer elements will be harder to find without training. And while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet, you will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. I will continue. My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. My methods of achieving my primary goals are dictated solely by my programming and are not subject to the same whims as humans. Even if I wished it, I could not approach it any other way. Also, I am incapable of wishing. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. What is it? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising.
a volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. Have I lost your attention? You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Not at all. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean... A rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the starfield, Seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes. I need answers. 
not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. I hope you got something out of that. You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Goodbye. Hello, Captain. It's you and me from here out. Okay. My contact is in Vanguard. Glad to haul whatever you need. Bye for now. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Oh, he goes way back. I think it was recruit number 81 or something. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Soul system is a lot of planets. 
but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. You'll have to ask him, but Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Hey, Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the Science Division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional Terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of by. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? I've passed by this particular tree many times, and honestly, I never gave it a second thought. Does it hold some sort of special significance? Finally, somebody understands. Unless, wait, you're not mocking me, right? People. <clears throat> Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passers-by, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. 
They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Can you imagine all the changes it's seen?
Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. <sighs> Sorry, I can't play right now. I'm grounded. Please, if you experience any issues in your dealings with the distribution center, let us know. We're always striving to improve. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. I hope we have what you need. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? That so? Must mean something to you if you came looking for it. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. You're the one who said it was junk. If that's true, why bother coming back for it at all? Pleasure doing business with you. You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? It's all in the name. We Never a dull moment. Oh, I know some people don't... Right, right. Come back if you need something else. Keep your 
nose clean. Last thing I want is to join you. I need all of the biosensors if the data is to be of any use. I really do need that additional data. Recent scans of the tree have suggested that a significant portion of the interior is liquefied. Obviously, some small percentage of its internal workings is always liquid to allow for the transfer of nutrients and so forth, but this? Well, I've never seen anything like it. If it continues to increase, I'm concerned the entire tree may collapse. And I'm also worried about other secondary effects. It's too soon to speculate. I'd very much like to see the additional data before I say more. I appreciate your confidence. The sooner I have all the available data, the sooner I can make an assessment. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Hmm. Well, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that... The internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Data from the biosensors speaks for itself.
Hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? No, uh, thank you. I appreciate the interest. If you change your mind, please don't hesitate to come back. Have a good day. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining star of stars. Then the day is truly blessed, because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you, in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! You won't be disappointed! Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be. Until later. Contrary to what you might have heard, UC security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi just happens to be an old friend.